What's up guys, this is Quinn92, we allow no shitty music. She's a psycho from a Midwest suburb, no straight jacket could hold her. Wild eyes, they will lure me in her trap. I go oh yeah, this was from about like, uh, maybe like a year and a half ago. Um, I was at Hoodie Allen show in Detroit and Kyle was the opening act and I saw him backstage and I, I was I was nervous like I'd never met the dude before but I saw him coming down the stairs I was like oh I gotta see him say what up so I came up to him and I, I was like wasted too so I think I might have said something like we're, we're gonna work together someday dude like like you watch like just some stupid like shit and uh, yeah he took that picture he looks like a lot more excited than he actually was to take it but yeah. yeah. No way. Was this my first post? Holy shit. Um, this is when I opened up for Chance at uh, the University of Michigan. Um, that must have been, got to be at least four years ago. And um, yeah, it was at Hill, Hill Auditorium. I was like the first of three acts. It was me, No Name Gypsy, who he works with a lot. A really cool um, female act. And then and then Chance. Um, and yeah, I was like, the, the most nervous ever. That was the first time I ever performed for like, that was like, it was like 4,000 people and just like way, way too early to be performing for that many people at like the level that we were, but um, it was still an amazing time. And like, this is always like a, this is a photo that like whenever I get to see it, it's like, brings back so many memories and yeah, stuff. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, super nostalgic. This is at Coachella. Uh, we were on a, um, I was just going as, as, as a fan, a group of our, our friends and I, we, we made the travel to uh, Coachella, and um, my girlfriend, uh, now fiance, she has this hat and uh, and gave it to me. She's like, yeah, just, just like wear something else, because you always wear your baseball hats. Like, why don't you wear like a more stylish hat? So uh, I just tried it on. I was like, all right, this will work. I'll keep this on on my face. But yeah, I ended up looking like schoolboy cute for sure, like the white version. And, and then my other friend gave me her sunglasses, and that's my shirt. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Air. Dave um, on the left and Carter on the right, they were in Air, A-E-R. Um, sure a lot of people know of them, or, or I should say knew of them. Um, super, super dope band back in like, when I was in like early college, um, even in like late high school, like senior year, I, this is like all I listened to these guys, um, mixing with a couple other acts. Um, back when like the music blogs were really big, I got put onto them and it's funny now I'm like friends with them and I work with Dave actually quite frequently. Um, he's like on two records on the album and um, yeah, it's funny like looking back and thinking how like big of a fan I was of these dudes and now I'm just, it's just, it's just like, an, you know, two friends of mine. So um, yeah, super good guys and, and super talented as well, yeah. That is a fan. Yeah, this was humbling in super humbling, super surreal to 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 look at it. Um, so like that's my tattoo on the right, as you can see. It's just the book. Um, my my album, the story of us. We've kind of adopted the logo of just the book um, to represent it. So I have that tattooed on my right arm. And then this guy we met. This is the first show um, off our European tour in London. He had. He was born in '92, but he. Um, I uh, got the XCII tatted on his arm, um, I think just because he's a fan of the music, obviously. And uh, yeah, so he came out to me and showed it, and I was like, oh my gosh. But I've actually seen a lot more people with their tattoos like of something related, whether it be like a lyric or the no, the Roman numerals or like, you know, whatever the case may be. But those are always like the real surreal moments when you meet people who have like ink like in their like body, like of, of, of like something you've done. So it's, it's surreal, yeah, it's crazy. This is Mickey's uh, malt liquor. This is the stuff that like I drank in college with my buddies, and um, the reason why is because they're like notoriously sold in uh, in in forties, like glass forties and stuff. So we'd always bring them to tailgates, and it like kind of caught on with our friends, and so everyone just started drinking them. I genuinely just like like the taste of them, and um, and yeah. So like out in LA where I live now, if I see these ever, anywhere sold, I'm always like snatching yeah. as many as I can. Um, but yeah, they're pretty strong, but definitely you'll have a couple and have a good time. <laughs> this is in my backyard in Florida, or not in Florida, in, in LA, but I was headed to Marco Island, Florida for Thanksgiving, and uh, I don't know, just spontaneously wanted to whip my ass out and <laughs> get a show. And it's funny, you can actually see A-OK, -okay, my, my good friend, um, he's my roommate too, he was like, who are you? Just like, just, everyone was like, what are you doing, dude? Like, you're like thinking you're going off the deep end or something, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking that day, I decided to post it and yeah.
Yeah, man. Yeah, so, we're, I mean, we're currently on tour. We're here tonight at the House of Blues in Boston um, on the road with my good friend Chelsea Cutler. Um, about what it looks like to be a, another sold out tour. We're just kind of doing a, a, a second tour off this debut album and just having the time of our lives. And I want to say thank you to all the fans. And, and you know, um, just, just if you're coming to a show, I can guarantee you it's going to be a good time. And, and uh, yeah, just keep supporting the music. Thank you guys so much. To find another place to stay and know you won't know me when the feeling's all gone. And I tell every